In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create a super easy glam look. I created this look using just 10 easy steps, which I'm going to share with you. I also have some tips and tricks along the way so that even if you have very limited time, you can still find time to feel glam. Now, if you're new here to the Makeup Chair channel and you enjoy tutorials like this, then I might suggest hitting the subscribe button below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started. I wanted to share with you some of my favorite things in this video too. One of my favorite things I'm actually looking at right now, hence that very goofy smile on my face. I am looking at Mr. Davey. Ooh, I also wanted to have a candle lighting behind me while I was getting ready. So these candles are by Put Your Feet Up. It's actually Davey's cousin's brand. One of my absolute favorite ones is Fireside. I don't know how they do it, but it smells like a fireside. It has this like sweet but smoky scent. It's so beautiful. And I wanted to like this and have this lighting behind me while I was filming, but a couple of times that's kind of gone wrong because I've forgotten that there's candles behind me. But if you are looking for some natural wax candles made here in Ireland, definitely check them out. And Fireside is one of my favorites. This is not sponsored. I just want to support local and also to support family. My very favorite makeup tip that I have for you when you need to get ready in a hurry is to split your application into two parts. So say you're having friends over and you have to clean the house and get your food prepped. Before you do any of that work, I want you to just to apply your basic base makeup. So I'm talking about your foundation, eyeshadow primer, concealer, lip balm, brows, the most boring parts. I want you to do those first. Take that little time to do those things first. This will take the stress away because you know that you're already halfway done. So I primed my face, applied my foundation, did my brows, a little bit of lip balm, and then I went ahead and I put some dinner on, I tidied up. Maybe you need to pick out what you wanna wear. And now I'm ready to get super glam. Now the brushes that I'm using today are the Blank Canvas Cosmetics Deluxe Holiday Collection. I am a brand ambassador for Blank Canvas Cosmetics, but I also want to support as many Irish brands as I can in this video, so of course I was going to use Blank Canvas Cosmetics. So taking their eyeliner brush, I'm going to take a product by Up Cosmetics. It's a cream to powder eyeshadow. This is available in the selection box by Up Cosmetics. Again, another Irish brand. And the very first step is to apply that cream to powder product all over the lid. So you can use a brush or you can use your fingertips. What I absolutely love about this cream product is the fact that it goes on so quick and easy and it looks like you have made such an effort in a very short amount of time. Once you apply this, you can actually go ahead, apply mascara, a little bit of lip balm, boom, done, and you look super glam. But we are gonna add some extra steps. So step number two, you're going to pick up your favorite blending brush and you're going to apply your contour shade or a contour eyeshadow. You're going to apply this on the outer edge of the eye and blend this into the crease to add some shape and dimension to the eye shape. Now this is the palette that we're gonna be using for the face as well. Honestly, if you are looking to get ready in a hurry, my other tip is to minimize how many products that you're using. So I'm gonna be using this on my eyes and on my face as well. Another tip is to hold your brush a little further down in the handle and this will soften your application, meaning that we are applying the eyeshadow and blending it at the same time. Step number three is to take a slightly darker shade and just apply this on the outer edge of the eye, again using the same blending brush. I'm focusing this mostly on the lid area, so right by the lashes and mostly on the outer edge as well, just to create a very soft smoky eye. Keeping with that same blending brush, I've just taken a tissue and swirled the brush over the tissue just to take off any excess product. And then I'm just gonna use this to very softly blend out any harsh lines. And you should end up with something that looks like this. So we have a little bit of depth right at the lash line, but then it's really blown out and smoky. You can apply mascara at this point, head out the door, but we are gonna add some extra steps. So taking a clean blending brush, we're going to move on to step number four. And this is to take your favorite blush, or in my case, I'm going to be using the blush from this palette and just apply this into the crease of the eye. This is just going to add a gentle fade and a little bit more structure to the eye look as well. Moving on to step number five, I'm going to take a small brush or you can use your fingertips and something with like a sheer shimmer. So what I love about this eyeshadow is because it's like a shimmer set with a sheer base, it looks great over lights and darks. And it also adds the most beautiful sparkle in a very short amount of time. 
Moving on to step number six, I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara and some falsies. I put these together because some people don't apply falsies and some people already have eyelash extensions on. So I kind of blurred the two of them together. I'm also using my favorite lashes at the moment, which are the Hawaii Lashes by Baby Doll. Again, another Irish brand, and I wanted to support an Irish brand. I actually met a couple of the girls just by chance and started chatting to them, and they were so lovely, so shout out to them. I absolutely love these lashes. They are so soft. Like, literally, that's probably why they're called Baby Doll, because they're like Baby Doll lashes. You remember those Baby Dolls that had the lashes? Like, they're so soft and fluffy. That's what these lashes are like. For step number seven, we're going to take a blending face brush and we're going to take the shadow that we used on the eyes. So a little bit of that contour shade. Now, because it is an eyeshadow, a very small amount goes a long way. So make sure you're only picking up a very small amount and blending as you go. Remember, you can always add, but you can't take away. For step number eight, we're going to go ahead and we're going to mix up the shimmer and the blush eyeshadow. Or if you want to, and you have the Up Cosmetics selection box, you can use Spotlight, which, oh my goodness, I need to do an entire video on Spotlight. But just to say what I'm doing right now before I talk about Spotlight and get off on a tangent, I'm mixing a little bit of the blush and the Spotlight together and applying this as my blush on my cheeks. But anyway, Spotlight. I use it for my eyes, I use it for my face, I use it with my lip glosses. It works in so many different ways. I've even sparkled a little bit in my hair. Like it is such a beautiful product, highly recommend it. A little goes a long way and it is so shimmery and gorgeous. I love it. We only have two more steps to go, so we're gonna take a quick break and be back with the last two steps. And we are back. I just finished off my hair, got changed, applied my jewelry, and we can move on to step number nine, which is to apply a lip liner. Now the lip liner I chose for this look is by Clarence. The reason I picked this is because they do have an Irish connection and they do work with the Bee Sanctuary of Ireland. This is actually in a village called Cool Fancy, which is one of the coolest names over villages that I've ever heard. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, but it just feels more fun to say Cool Fancy. <laughs> And that is in County Wicklow. And that's the main reason that I picked Clarence because I wanted to highlight an Irish brand that is doing some good for Ireland. And I also love this lip liner because it is basically like one of those pens that you had in school. It has two eyeliners and two lip liners within this pen. The red is such a classic red and it goes with so many shades of red that I already own. But one thing that I like to do is I like to apply a little bit of the black eyeliner as well. So once I've kind of cleaned up around my lips and make sure I get a good shape, I then take a little bit of the black. You don't have to do this. But what I do is I add a bit of shading using the black over the red to kind of blur them together when I want to slightly overline. As you can see, it's very, very, very subtle, but as my lipstick kind of shade kind of fades, I'm not gonna lose any of that definition because I have a mixture of black and red right where I need to overline. To finish off the look, we're gonna do step number 10, which is to apply a lipstick, and I'm using the Up Cosmetics Berry Red Lipstick, which is also available in the selection box. What I love about this particular shade of lipstick is that it's not too glossy, it's not too matte, it's somewhere in between. And it's also the most classic red shade. It's one of those shades that when you put it on, you cannot help but smile. That's what I call this red. This is like a classic smiley red. When you have this on, you feel like you can't stop smiling. I don't really like my smile, but this red lipstick makes me feel like smiling. I feel like an old Hollywood actress on a red carpet whenever I wear this shade of red. And then there you go. That is the finished look. I really hope that you enjoyed it. It is about 10 steps, so kind of about 10 minutes because some steps are really quick and easy to do. I know I haven't been on here very often. Actually, after I filmed this, I had a very uh, unfortunate episode with my chronic illness. I'll probably share more over on my Instagram if you're interested in checking that out. Basically, I almost ended up having to call an ambulance, which I'm sure if they'd walked in with me looking like this, being full glam, I'm sure they would have thought it was very, very strange. But that's just the curse of living with an invisible illness. Full glam, but feel really terrible inside. <laughs> I laugh about it now, but at the time I was pretty upset. I also was thinking about how I actually haven't achieved as much as I wanted this year. And I felt kind of bad about it, but then I thought, you know what? No, I'm gonna just keep going with my list just because I have only had 12 months to complete the things and 
I've only got maybe three or four of them done, that's okay. This is why I always say just to be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and remember that you're doing the best that you can given your circumstances. So I hope the end of your year is a happy one and that the start of your next one is even better. I'm sending so much love to all of you as always, my friends. Continue to be kind to yourself, continue to be kind to others. You are doing the best you can and that's awesome. And I'll see you soon.